Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. This is Wendy from Bake with Baker B. If you are new here, huh, welcome. This is the channel for all the bakers who love baking as much as I do. If you love baking, I think you tune into the right place. <laughs> so for today's video, I'm going to share with you my five baking hacks that you need to know. I've been using these hacks for a while and they work perfectly okay for me. That's why today I'm so excited to share them with you. By doing these little hacks, um, they are not only saving me a lot of time, but also save me a lot of effort so that I can really enjoy baking and focus during the process. So, does it sound good to you? Let's dive into it! Hack number one, store the butter in a container. Have you ever come across these situations? Number one, hard to unwrap a wet and oily butter wrapper. Number two, it is always difficult, or I can say messy to portion the soft butter from the butter wrapper. Number three, don't know how to rewrap the butter without a mess. Oily fingers, wet butter wrapper. No, no, no. I'm going to share my hack to solve this problem. It doesn't matter how many blocks of butter you use every time, you just need to find the right size of container to fit your needs. Because I bake a lot, so I choose a container that can fit 1 kg of butter. That means 4 blocks of 250 grams of butter blocks. All you need to do is unwrap them when they are still chill or hard. It is a lot easier to do it this way. And place them in the container. Just like this. If you don't bake that much, you can choose a smaller container can fit two blocks or even one block. As you can see, there isn't enough space for my last whole block of butter, so I cut it in three pieces and place them in. I just love this way to store my butter. It is tidy and no more oily fingers. Every time I finish the butter in the container, I just need to unwrap four blocks and place them in. So, no more wet and oily butter wraps. Hang number two, sift the flour and icing sugar in advance. This is such a time saver hack, saving time for measuring the right amount for sifting, saving time to wash the tools every time finish using them. Now, I've just finished using up all my icing sugar in the container. I'm going to show you how to do it. All you need is a big bowl and a bag of icing sugar. And one of my favorite sifters. You can watch my 10 essential tools for home baking video to see why it is my favorite tools for particularly sifting icing sugar. Now, you just need to keep sifting the whole bag until you finish it. To avoid you getting bored watch me sifting the icing sugar, it is actually not much fun. I speed up the process to make it more entertaining. Now it is done, it takes me around 5 minutes to sift the whole bag. The rest of the job is just need to scoop all the sifted icing sugar into the container. Then it is all done, no more sifting icing sugar every time you need to make buttercream. How good is that? I also sift my flour in advance. It's not only saving my time for sifting every time I need to use them, but also saving me a tons of time to wash the tools. After everything is done, I just need to clean the surface once and wash the tools once. That's it! Now, whenever I need to bake, I can just simply scoop the exact amount of flour or icing sugar straight from the containers. No more sifting every time. What a time saver hack! Hack number 3. Freeze the cookie dough. 
Always have some cookie dough in the freezer is a great way to have instant treats for your unexpected guests or any time you want to treat yourself. These are all my frozen cookie dough. Before I freeze them, I roll them out to the thickness that I want. Then I label each dough and store them vertically in a basket so that I can easily to look for a particular dough. Now let me show you how I wrap my cookie dough before I store them in the freezer. Get a sheet of cling film. Place your cookie dough in between two sheets of parchment paper before you wrap it. Wrap it well and don't forget to squeeze all the air out. Next, turn the cookie dough upside down and wrap it in a cling frame again. Don't forget to label it before you store it in the freezer. Now, whenever you need some freshly baked cookies, you just need to take the frozen dough out from the freezer 10 to 15 minutes in advance before you cut them out. Then your freshly baked cookies are ready to serve. These are my lemon shortbread with lemon icing. If you want to learn how to make this lemony and buttery shortbread, you can watch my video to get the recipe. The link is in the description box below. Hack number four, always make more buttercream than you need. This is a great way not only to save time and effort, but also to store the leftover buttercream. I always make more buttercream than I need, just in case. <laughs> and I freeze them in the freezer. I also have a designated drawer in my freezer for my buttercream storage only. So how do I store my buttercream? Let me show you. First, I load the buttercream in a clean piping bag and twist it very tightly. and secure it with a rubber band. Sometimes I use two. Then I use this post-it labeling tape to write down what flavor it is and the date that I make it so that I can keep track on it. Of course, you can use any paper you have on hand. Then I stick the label onto the piping bag. For double security, I use transparent tape to tape around the bag to make sure the label won't fall off in the drawer. Otherwise, I would have no idea what is what. I check this drawer regularly to make sure the frozen buttercream can be used within a month. Whenever I need it, I place the frozen buttercream in the fridge a night before to defrost it and whip it again before I decorate my bakes. Hack number 5. Pep your baking tools 100% grease free. This is a must know hack for beating your egg whites. If you need to make Swiss rolls or chiffon cakes, the main part of the recipe is beating the egg whites. Egg whites and grease are definitely not friends. So how do we 100% to make sure our tools are grease-free? The secret is to use vinegar. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. Use a sheet of kitchen paper and pour a little bit of distilled white vinegar onto it and gently wipe your tools carefully. Then your tools are now grease-free and ready to be friends with egg whites. Making Swiss roll or chiffon cake? Not a problem! So how was it? I hope you found this video useful. If you have any other baking hacks, please feel free to leave it in the comments box down below. I would love to learn from you. Um, please like and share this video with your friends and family and please please make sure to subscribe to my channel my friends um, and hit the notification bell next to it so that you will be the first one to be notified that my video goes live all right so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye